<laughs> he said, "Are you with your name?" <laughs> I saw, hey, I saw how focused you were, bro. Getting that text out. I'm trying to fucking get her to calm down. Like, yeah. All right, episode sixty-one of the One Hundred Podcast. Uh, we did this shit like a week ago, bro, and it was like fucking over an hour long, so you guys want to try to redo this shit again or what? Let's run it back. I brought in DJ Boogs and Tony Ruiz, so I don't know, bro. What do you guys want to talk about? Let's talk about the Lakers going to the championship against the Heat. Who do you guys have? Lakers. One of the champ- Lakers? Lakers. In what? How many? Six. I don't even want to make a prediction. It's just two good teams. I mean, I like the way the Heat are playing. Um, they're pretty solid. They got shooters. Lakers, I mean, they're just not as consistent. But, I mean, I know LeBron will get the job done. So, I mean, my guess is anybody's guess. I don't want to bet on this one. Really? Yeah. You're not going to pull one out there? Nah, I'm not oh. going to put no predictions out there. What about the Cowboys? What do I have to say about the Cowboys? What happened on You know what? We don't got to talk about that one. Yeah. Oh, you both are Cowboys. That's it. We don't got to talk about nothing. Woo! We don't talk about nothing. I uh, knew Dak was about to fuck it up. It was just a matter of time. I know. And what I was saying, too, is on that last play, bro, all he has to do is scramble and run out of bounds. And run out of bounds. That's it. You get another play, bro. You get yeah. another play, bro. You don't just throw it in the end zone. With, like, seven. six yeah, defenders, bro. <laughs> that was good. It's all good. You know, Who's your so, team, bro? I'm a Seahawks fan. That's why I said Get that. Get the fuck out of here. You could have been. Are like you the from Ravens Seattle? Guy. I went to school up there, so I'll give you I've, that. Been, okay, I've been I'll a give Seahawks you. fan for a long time. I feel like I ask you that every. You I feel like you shouldn't be a Seahawks fan. You wear Dodgers shit. I feel like you should be like. But I hate I don't the Rams, know, bro. Raiders or something. No, I hate bro. the Rams. I hate the Raiders, and I hate the who's the other California team? Rams, Niners, Raiders, San and the Niners, the Chargers, and Chargers. And Chargers. They the Chargers don't even really. Nah, fuck that. Yeah, bro. Cowboys, I think, though, are in a bad division. Cowboys are going to oh. win the division. It's not... Who's going to win it? The Eagles aren't going to beat us. The Redskins... Or the Washington Redskins aren't going to fucking win it, bro. <laughs> and the Giants aren't winning it. So, I think we're winning our division. But I don't know how far we get past that. Yeah, that's, that's true. Did you, did you... Hey, did you guys hear about Elliot? No. They, they He was, like, on a... He was doing, like, a Twitch live stream after the game or something. Like, uh, on a video game. And he thought he had turned off his live stream, and he said he was, like, telling somebody, like, he was hanging out with, that he was faded during the game. He's, like, low-key, I was faded, bro. I was, like, Dang. how you gonna be fucked up, and you're, like, the highest-paid running back in the league? Well, they didn't even run the ball a lot, though. You guys threw it. Yeah, they didn't run game. the ball a lot, because he sucked. Did you see him? Yeah. He dropped the ball, like, shit, probably two or three times. Just when the score was get, getting kind of like spread away, I stopped watching it. And then I went back to it, and then I was like, "Oh, we got a chance now." And we're only down by like I think it was like two or something at one point, and I was like, "All right." But I mean, Russell Wilson was in his bag. I don't know why they didn't cover Tyler Lockett because that's who he was throwing to the whole fucking game. And then you gotta admit, DK Metcalf thought he was the shit. And then when he got that ball punched out, he does that shit once like, a year, bro. He did that last year too. He did that last year. He fumbled against the Packers. Like, it was bad. He's just, he just, he's young. He just has those mistakes yeah. in him. I knew we were going to lose when we kicked the field goal. When that. you went up by two? Yeah. I knew it was over after we that. We should have went for it. We just couldn't give you guys like, the ball yeah, too much Yeah, there was time. still like two minutes left. Russell Wilson's over here throwing like 15 touchdowns, no <laughs> picks and shit. Like, bro, like, get the fuck he out of here. He said it. He said it. This yeah, year but he was going to be in his bag. I mean, I believe it. He's a baller. He's a baller. I'll give it to him yeah. at the end of the day. But our secondary is trash. Yeah. When you're a first rounder, he was a first rounder in baseball too, wasn't he? Baseball, yeah. Football, yeah. he was at the end. Oh, he got yeah, drafted. Yeah, the he end. got drafted uh, like behind with Bobby Wagner. Yeah, they got drafted crazy, super man. late. That's he, crazy when you get drafted by two different leagues, pro leagues. When they both like what? And he was on the Yankees, or no, the uh, the Rangers. Rangers. He got picked up by the Rangers, yeah, and then he went to the Yankees. You guys watched the game today? Yeah, Chiefs fucking destroyed Fuck with the Ravens. Yeah. yeah. Ravens are trash. Do you think that shows who's going to win in playoffs? Do you think the Chiefs are, like, the team to beat in the AFC? You know what? I mean, yeah, football. But football's been kind of weird, though, this year. Like, different teams it could be anybody huh? out. Yeah, so, I mean, and then a lot of players are getting injured. It's just, yeah, I mean, but the Chiefs, they're still, they're still playing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to come down to those two no matter what at the end. The the Chiefs and the Ravens? Yeah. The AFC? I and, think so. And then NFC Seahawks versus somebody or what? 
Seahawks. I think it's gonna be Seahawks, Packers, or Cowboys. To be honest, I feel like it's the same shit every year. I know that everybody always mentions the Cowboys, and they always suck, bro. I, I hate, bro. I'm a Cowboy fan, die hard, and every single year we end up being like eight and eight or nine and seven, yeah. losing the division. But you still go. Yeah, we do you go to the playoffs a usually. Yeah. Yeah, the Packers I think are undefeated. They're what? They're good really, too. You know? Yeah, the Saints are like whatever. I don't really care about them. How good do you think the Raiders are this year? Oh it's overhyped. <laughs> It's a new city. That's it. New huh? state. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Ain't shit. Hey, bro, how, how was your. Uh, speaking of this fucking weekend, we were going into it a little bit. How was your uh, your show? Your, or your, how was DJing for this fool's party? It was, it was good. That it was shit was good. fun. Yeah. It was to good. be honest. Yeah. I think it was like the first time like we really like were able to do something. So I have fun. I feel like it was pretty, like, it was pretty it was lit. I feel like everyone was having fun, and I don't know, it was good. I can't wait to do more, yeah. to be honest. Like, was I it? was hyped just being there, and I was, I mean, his man kept bringing me drinks and shit. I was already drunk by 12 o'clock, and I was just standing there. Really? Yeah. You're faded? Just Bro, waiting. this man and Beef kept bringing me shots, like, every fucking 15 minutes. Yeah, and I was the, like, what the fuck? Then I popped fuck? a 42 bottle, like, around, like, 10 or 11. Yeah, and then he brought me midnight, that. So... But it was cool. I got a lot of good feedback, too, because people were like, dang, this guy had a water slide, had a DJ, you know, everything pretty much. Yeah. And, like, it even had me thinking, too, when I was, like, in San Diego. I was like, you know what? I got to open up a club or something because, like, all these people were, like, hitting me up and were saying, like, oh, we seen your whole, like, Instagram videos and, like, you should just become, like, a club promoter or something like that. So now it has me thinking, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I can't open up a club yet. This guy could be my resident DJ and just, you know, make something happen. Yeah, where would you, would you open one right here in the Valley? Is yeah, that what you're going here, to Yeah, here in the Valley, but, see, I was talking to him with, like, certain complications. I want to go to him in detail just in case someone want to do it, but, like, yeah. I want to find somewhere, you know, that um, it's just too quick to start up. Not like I got to put so much into it or like uh, yeah, yeah, look yeah, into yeah. the liquor license and all that stuff. So, I mean, if I could get a spot for a steal, I'm looking for like within this coming up year or the following year to do something like that. You're almost that. like trying to buy into something that's ready to yeah. go, like something that's already Within up. like, yeah, like I said, two years or less. So if I could make that happen, I'm going to jump on the ball. So you didn't think about this at all until your party? Until my party, yeah. And people were telling me, they were just like, you know what, the DJ was popping, like, the crowd, like, you know, the whole vibe of everything was cool, yeah. you know? So I, I was just like, all right, I mean, you know what, guys? I really thought about it, and I've been doing, like, ho- like once in a while, like, house parties, you know, and stuff like that. And every time I've done one, people have told me, yo, like, your parties were dope, or, oh, I heard about your parties, you gotta invite me to one next time. Like, yeah. So, I was like, maybe this might be a calling. This be open up a club. What did so. you think about the party? You were there. It was just, I just thought good vibes, you know? Like, I just <laughs> think the way he made it, he made it, it was pretty, like, it was, like, a party, but it was still, like, kickback vibes. You yeah, know? yeah, it was all that's homies. what I told him. Everybody felt like, they, like, it wasn't no, like, it, nobody was trying to be cool. Yeah, trying yeah, to be yeah. tough, you know? Yeah. And, like, I hate going to parties where you gotta, like, stand on the wall, dog, and, like, Watch both sides yeah, all the yeah, time yeah. and like that's how. And then imagine if I open a club with nothing but good vibes and the minute that's like it. anything like that yeah. were to happen, just security boom. And that's, that's how it. you gotta be. You gotta be yeah. quick with it, you know. Yeah. Just Before punch a homie real happen. quick. You don't know who it is. You just gotta punch them and get them out. <laughs> 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 yes. Literally, insider. Insider, insider. yeah, as insider. Insider. Yeah, yeah. But nah, bro, it was good. And the the water slide, I didn't get to go on it, but it looked like that. That just adds an extra little vibe to it, bro. Yeah. People yeah. were riding that shit. Yeah. Like, they were on that shit wild, man. Yeah, so, I mean. It was like I a four-day party. Yeah. Through. If I could open up a club, like, it'd be like, just imagine every weekend just popping. And then, I mean, I, a lot of people said the DJ was good. The whole party was fun. So, that's how I'd make the club. Just a good time. Yeah. Would you have a certain city? If you could pick a city um, in the valley? It would be between Palm Desert or Palm Springs. Um, I was actually looking into the Red Barn, but there's a little flaw to it. So I would, And if I were to change it like and own it, I would call it the Trap Barn. And just cool music, cool vibe, paint the, the, the barn black, and then just make it, make it dope inside. That'd be legit. Yeah. I like that. I like that style. I, uh... 
That would be a lot of work, but it would be fun, bro. Yeah. That would be something that you'd have to go, like, shit, you'd be working out every day, seven days a week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Would you be learning food, too? Would you start cooking in the kitchen, too, motherfucker? Yeah, well, I mean, I already, I, already have already have some, I already have some, like, experience with, like, cooking food. Like, I've already, I've done, like, like sushi chef, like, a year and a half. And then I've done, like, other, like, small restaurants. But just to get, like, experience in different fields. Yeah. So I've already done, like, cooking and stuff like that. And then, like, a lot of my relatives are, like, um, like big bosses in the cooking field. Like, so executive chefs know. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, like, if anything, I'd hire one of them and just put them in over here, like, part-time or whatever they want to do. If they want to do full-time, all right, cool. And then they'd make a sick menu. So You were yeah. a sushi chef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was that at? Uh, at Shogun in Palm Desert. No so, shit. Yeah, what got you that job? Up, uh, my brother, he was a bartender, and they were just like, oh, you know, we need someone. And then I was like, well, I've never done it, but I don't want to work a regular job. So why not? Yeah. It was a cool experience. Cool experience. Yeah? Yeah. What was, uh, what was like, the coolest part of being a, an actual sushi chef? Um, I did I mean, not expect just, you to say yeah, that, bro. That's just, crazy. Just good vibes. It was just cool. Like, people were just like, you to get customers. <laughs> did you know stuff. that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Oh. Got a lot of drinks bought for me and stuff, so it's cool. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Where were you working at when I first met you? Uh, I want to say Shogun, yeah. Shogun. No, it was before that. Um... What were you before Shogun? That threw my interview so far <laughs> off, bro. <That's laughs> well, you were somewhere else before Shogun. Where was it? Oh, honestly, no. Really? If anything, it was, you know, it was hustling, but that was it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think at the time, I don't even think you had a job. Yeah, it was, I was yeah. hustling. Yeah. It's hustling. How long did you guys meet? How did you guys meet? Uh, Through uh, Beefy. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He was like, oh, you want to hang out with us? We're going to go to a party. And then I was like, all right, cool. I'll All the way back in like high school or what? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like probably my... Our, our like ending... Yeah, probably like a year out of high school, I want to yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that long ago. Fucking I don't even want to ask you these same questions that I asked you guys last week. But hey, bro. But no what got knows, you though. into being a DJ, bro? <laughs> what... When did you start being a DJ? What? Uh, probably like a month ago. Yeah. Yeah, I just started fucking around and started playing with music and just started fucking having fun with it. Um, but yeah, it was just something random. Called this guy and told him, and we just started like just making little moves here and there. Yeah. But yeah, it was. I don't know. It, it went from zero to a hundred like pretty quickly. It Super seems fast. Like. Yeah. Like we literally just thought about it and then it just it just took off. Like we just like a, started. What two weeks or a week later? Hey, yeah, like, like we got a we got a gig to do something, mm-hmm. and then so we did it. What well, it was like a week? Huh? Yeah, it was like a week. It was yeah. Like, a week. like when they told me they wanted me to DJ that shit, I literally had to go back and buy some more stuff. Like I had to buy a span a stand for my speaker. Had to get a microphone. Like, I said, you weren't like, even ready. To I wasn't play. even ready, ready, bro. Ready they hit me up like ran- they hit me up like two days before, and I called this guy. And he was like, oh, well, fucking go take care of it. He's like, I'll go with you. So I was like, all right. So we went and did that shit. And fuck, we have fun there, too. If you wanted to, like, go from, like, not having shit to starting, like, being able to do a show, how much would it cost you? Mm, like, it much? probably cost me, like, a good, like, a good, like, grand, maybe. And what equipment would you need? Well, you need, like, your laptop, the speaker, the turntables, and then just, like, the stands, and just little shit like that, like, that shit, headphones, like, that shit adds up. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, just that stuff. All the mainly, cords and all that random shit or yeah, what? Yeah, you need all that stuff, so it's just little things that add up, like, it, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I like music, so I don't really care, like, it was just an easy purchase. For mm-hmm. me. Well, it seems like, too, it... As a purchase you'd make if it seemed if you have like such a big, like following already, bro. Yeah, in yeah. a couple of weeks, in a month, you know, like you already got a show, like lined up. You already did a second show, like yeah, it's been. How fast. much does it really cost you to like buy that shit when you barely started? Exactly. And you already have people into it. And then we already have like a couple lined up after COVID, so we're just I don't know, we're just waiting for it and just going with the flow. Yeah. And just having fun, like I don't know. I gotta ask you, how was that? How was your first show, bro? Any sort of like. Stage fright, were you fucking... I was probably more nervous at his than I was at the car wash, just because the car wash, like... I mean, there's music, but I don't feel like people really pay attention to detail. And I feel like his, like... When you have 
all these people that like people are actually trying to party. Yeah, to like music. you know that they're like they're trying to catch a vibe and turn up from there. So I think that was the hard part was finding what it was and then kind of just going up from there. Yeah. And I think once we found it, it was just like that shit was crazy. Yeah, it, was just... <laughs> it seemed like it was vibing all night. I don't think there was. I don't think there was any point of the night where there was like no music at all. No, like it, it was just kept playing. Yeah, it was on. cool. Like I don't know. I think we went through. We what we played like reggaeton. We did Spanish. We did hip hop, and then we did like the trap shit. And then once twelve o'clock hit, like this motherfucker was just telling me what to play. Pretty much, he was yeah. Like, play I some because was... I'm about to pop this bottle, and I was yeah. like, fuck. So I think we did Waka Flocka. And that's when shit went sideways quick. Um, But yeah, that shit was fun. I mean, I think a lot of people were were vibing to it. I mean, everyone got drunk. So, I mean, it was was cool. When you're drinking, does it make it harder? No, it makes it easier. Really? Yeah. Because then then you're like, all right. So this is this is what people want to turn up to. Yeah. So I'm gonna continue going into that vibe because I'm turning up too. Yeah. So it's like, oh, what do I want to hear too? Turning up with them. Because you're faded already. Yeah. You're like in the same yeah. situation. I'm in the same boat as them, so I just think about what I would want to listen to while I'm drunk and turning up, and then I just did the same thing. So it's it's fun. I like DJing like that. Like even when he comes over, and we're practicing or whatever. I'm always drinking. Like, did, it, did it make you want to even like DJ more doing the party? Like did it make it? F- funner than even like just at your pad yeah like, i mean it makes it like worth it like all practicing and shit like i like i said i practice with him like i get frustrated and start yelling and shit because like just trying to get everything together it's hard like it, it's hard to like kind of practice for that but i don't know i feel like shit like that like his party or the car wash like you can't practice for that like you just gotta go with the vibe like what people like like you can have a playlist but some people may not fuck with it the same way i fuck with it yeah so yeah. it's a little bit different so it, I don't even, I don't know how people do that. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Well, even, like, the DJing, bro, like, how'd you even learn that? Because you gotta learn how to fucking, like, you gotta learn how to do something, right? Like, you yeah, can't, I mean, you, there's gotta yeah. be some sort of practice. You, you can't have just... to learn, like, how to blend it in and the yeah. right mixes. But, like I said, I have certain people there that, like, I'll send shit to or that they're there listening to it. And they'll tell me, like, don't, like, we gotta find something else. Or they'll be like, yeah, that one. And then we'll just add on to it. So there's just, no DJ before that you knew. There's no nobody. Bro. I mean, there's two of my friends that DJ, but I didn't really pay attention to them DJ like that. I was just there, like mm, I know okay. they know how to turn up. So I just like, I don't. I was just there having fun. But yeah. like, there's you know they're they're good at what they do, and one of them's killing it in LA, and the other one, David, he kind of stopped a little bit. But those were people that like have been doing it for a long time. That even he still helps me out to this day. So that's legit. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier when you have somebody that's kind of. Yeah. Well, they both were killing it when they were doing it, and so I just try to listen and just try to like pick little shit from them and just try to figure. And it then out. you got this guy too, right? He's basically like your partner. Your partner. Pretty in much. Business. Like yeah. my yeah. my partner in crime. He, send, he sends me the videos. I listen to him, and I'm like, all right, put it out on the gram. Your little snippet. If it's not hot, I'm gonna tell him like, you know what, bro? Like, I mean, switch it up. Go with some other like song, mm-hmm. or like if I'm there in person and like he's already going with something, I was like, all right, let's see what other song we can put before we say, all right, this is part of the snippet. So we're we're going through a lot of different songs, and he's listening to it, and he'll straight up tell me. And if I see like kind of him hesitating or have a face, I already know like, hey, bro, scratch that song, throw it in the trash, and put a different one like. To add to your mix because it is it is kind of hard i understand the, the transitions he was talking about finally and i was just like i was like yeah that didn't sound good cut that song out and yeah. you know, let's look for another one so i know i get what you're saying because sometimes you something like in your head totally sounds good and then yeah you put it on and the, then you, you put it on and it's some different it just doesn't yeah. sound right it doesn't yeah. go with the beat doesn't go with the, what yeah. Uh, yeah i don't i it's get the transition like, only when it comes with video i can kind of because yeah. i do a lot of video editing but it's but I that's what I'm saying. There's only DJ. certain people that could tell, and then like unless you're a DJ, DJ, you're not gonna really get you it. You can't really get it. But I mean, there are people that try to like find little things to pick at. Where they'll be like, "Oh, I heard this," and it's kind of like I don't give a fuck. Like you can tell me you don't like it or this is wrong. I don't care at the end of the day. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm just doing it to have fun. So you can't really get me upset by saying something like that. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Like, I I figured with him, my girlfriend, and a couple other people, if I send them something and they don't like it, I feel like they're blunt enough to tell me, like, hey, don't, like, don't post it. 
like these are people that fucking do their own thing and perfect it so I know they wouldn't let me post something stupid like that. So they're not going to bullshit you. No, like, yeah, you look won't. good, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. It sounds good. Yeah, yeah, There yeah. would be no reason for them to do that. Like, and I don't know. My girlfriend's probably the most fucking honest person. So she'll tell me like that. Don't, don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Without them, like, I wouldn't even be doing it right, to be honest. I would think it's cool, but I don't think it would be at the end of the day. I did that so. shit before. I did that with my clothing brand, where really? I, it was like I just I knew it wasn't really like fully good, and I I was just pushing it, and it was like the designs weren't all that and shit. Yeah. And it was just something like you just didn't have people that were really there that like you do that are yeah, like yeah. really into it for you. You know, they're like, bro, this shit's garbage. Yeah, you need somebody to tell you, hey, I don't like this. Right, yeah, hey, bro, this shit's make a sick. You yeah. know, keep moving with it or whatever. You know, like you need that shit. People are important like that. Especially with your shit, you gotta have some homies that are helping you out with like your sneakers and your jewelry and shit. Like, you yeah, gotta have somebody well, that has your like back. sneakers. Sneakers is cool. You know, it's easy. I mean, you you know what people are looking at, and you know what people are like wanting. Like sneakers is like it's like a big thing right now. Yeah. So like everyone's buying shoes. Everybody wants to like dress jewelry. Um, for me, it's just personally like I've always liked jewelry. Like I've always been into fashion and everything. So jewelry, like I'm like, all right, what would I put around my neck? And what, or what would I put on my hand, like rings or whatever it is, earrings. Like So I'm always uh, drawing up designs and looking at what like artists are buying and like creating one piece of jewelry with all the different designs in one so I could be the first one before anybody else. Yeah. It's how does, how do you... How do you create like a custom piece of jewelry? Custom like, piece of jewelry it goes through uh, the first stage is building the three three D model rendering. So you got to have someone that knows how to use that software program or whatever. So then they make that three D model. They take that three D model, make it into a mold, and then if you're adding diamonds, you got to have someone that knows how to set diamonds and stuff like that. So there's a lot of process to it, and like diamonds too aren't easy. Like you got to have a real steady hand for it to set it, and then. Um, like to have like the prongs hold it right correctly and stuff like that which hold your diamond so yeah yeah it's a lot it's a lot more into it that people like don't know and if you're not like a legit jeweler and you go to like different middlemans like that guy's paying like for example like sometimes when i'm too lazy to even set the diamonds into like a piece they charge anywhere between six to ten dollars each diamond to set in Mm, so it's just cutting into your profit base. Yeah, so cutting into, into your profit. So if you keep going to every middleman, it's just yeah. like you're getting like, so like a little bit less here, a little bit less here, a little bit yeah, less here. Yeah, so all the big time jewelers, since they have like a team like that, like they don't cut no profit. They make straight profit. They're doing everything yeah, themselves. Yeah, they're doing everything themselves. If you go through middleman, 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 you're making like, I don't know, like a G, maybe two at most. I mean, it, it, does, it does sound a lot, but from what you could make without the, the people you got to pay out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Probably an extra grand, two grand, or whatever. Yeah, Sometimes or even like yeah. More. So you'd be and you'd be like a piece that you could have made four or five thousand off of. You're only making like fifteen hundred to like maybe two, maybe even only one thousand. And is that really worth all the time it took you to buy all the material and all that stuff? Exactly. Yeah. And the three D renderings too. Um, if you go to someone forum, they cost thirty five bucks. And if that person doesn't like how big the piece is or whatever, you, you gotta, gotta redo it. You gotta redo it. That's another thirty five. So. Yeah. Do you ever like give people like uh, okay I can only change it a certain amount of times before um no I because you more, for like, me it's like I, I like you know it's what the customer wants at the end of the day you have that vision that dream yeah. I'm the jeweler that you know told you I can I can do it I can build it I can put it together you just so, gotta keep figuring so it out I gotta, for them. yeah so I gotta keep figuring out and making sure that's what they like and I mean most of the time I've only ever had one person do it probably like twice. Other than uh, that, that's not like, too bad. yeah, other than that, it's one time go, boom, all right. I know. So, when they have something in their head, do they have it drawn out or do they tell you? Do you draw it out yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll draw it out and I'll, what's it called, put it through the computer and I'll be like, is this what you want? And then, so. So, you, did you ever go to school for art or anything or did you just learn that shit on, uh, uh, like, as you're. Just messing around, my cousin showed me a lot with it and he's like one of the best to do it. So, me and him as a team, like, if I don't know how to do it, he's doing it. So and he went to school for it. He went to school to GIA, and like learned all kinds of different stuff. And then he took like different classes for like small stuff outside of it. So, 
That's legit. Yeah. And so did, is it basically like fa- did family teach you this whole the yeah, whole fam- business? Family family trade. So everybody was just teaching me. My aunt, my uncle. My uncle was actually the reason why I became like a big hustler I am. Not just in jewelry, like he was like, you gotta work and you gotta do whatever like it takes. If you want something, you can get it. Like don't, yeah. ever, don't ever think about it because we actually didn't own the jewelry store. We didn't come for money. We, my uncle like, you know, worked, worked, worked. And then the jewelry store he worked for, the guy that like owned the jewelry stores said that you're the hardest worker over even my own kids. I'm gonna give you the jewelry store. Really? Yeah. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. And I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody our fucking age even understands that type of work, bro. Uh-uh. Most people our age are like, nah, fuck that. I ain't yeah, work. You want me to work for a couple years? Yeah. No way, bro. And then too, like my uncle told us that, like when he first opened the jewelry store and told me and my cousin, like when my cousin took over for the Palm Desert one and opened that one, he goes, "You're gonna probably work five years without taking a single day off." He's like, "I worked five, six years, and I didn't take." Uh, I only, I didn't take a single day off, and then I finally took a Sunday off, and then for another four, like, ten years, and then I finally took Saturday, Sunday off. So, like, almost 20 years before he took two days off. Jesus, yeah. man. That's what a lot of people don't understand when you run your own business. Like, yeah, there's a lot to it, and if you really want it to succeed, you're going to put your all into it. They don't like, see that full-time. Yeah. The, the, it's, it's a lot more than a 40-hour-a-week job, yeah. bro. Yeah, like, I'm traveling to L.A., or I'm working, like, 12, 13 hours, like, you know, like, it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot to it. Yeah. I mean, more people don't understand it, even the side hustle when it comes to shoes, like, I'm out driving, bulk buying in LA, Long Beach, and all kinds of stuff, where I'm going to each, every, each store here in the desert that's releasing that shoe, and then buying them out, and then going, like, probably if I have to, like, another hour just to buy out another store, like, there's a lot more. How to are you it. finding out about those releases and everything? You just already know. Um, like there's a, there's a lot of like Instagram. StockX has a calendar that lets you know releases and stuff like that. So, all that information is right there at your disposal. Like they'll let you know each date, and then they'll let you know like on Instagram. Well, they let you know what stores and should have it too. Yeah. 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 They'll let you uh, like Instagram will tell you a lot. That's like the yeah, biggest tool. Right. That's the <laughs> like, biggest tool. Yeah, if anybody yeah. want to do anything, you do it off of Instagram or YouTube. Like, yeah, no. Well, I think Instagram is what caused shoes to take off, bro. Like, not that shoes were weren't in before, but like fashion in general is yeah. not huge. Like, sh- like clothes cost so much, bro. Even like regular clothes, you think they're cost so much, you know? Like fucking hats nowadays. Like, how much is a new era hat now? Forty, 40 like, bucks. Forty bucks. Yeah. Yeah, like. I don't know. That's crazy. You're right. Instagram is everything. There's everything on that shit. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at it. It's like advertisement. So you're like, oh, like, I didn't even know that brand. Who makes this follow? And then you start buying off of them. Or like, oh, like, your favorite athlete. Boom. Oh, what? He's wearing this. Oh, I want these shoes. Let me see how much they cost. Yeah. Or let me find a, let me find a plug. Like, one of my boys, he probably sells shoes. Boom. Like that's just how that's just how it happens. As your as your because I think we were talking about last time you were thinking about were you thinking about opening a jewelry store was that what you were talking about or opening a shoe store or something? Um, or just I, keeping it on social media? Yeah, keep keeping it on social media with shoes. Uh, uh, the jewelry store probably another location on Alpha Sale, but other than that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because now now have you turned your focus to maybe opening a club? Is that what? You're... Yeah. So I mean, I've always been a guy with multiple hustles. Like I, so I never keep like it yeah, keep it moving. Try to put my bread everywhere. I mean, yeah. as long as I don't ever have to work a uh, nine to five, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Fuck that shit, man. Yeah. That's how I feel too. Yeah. I can't work a nine to five, bro. I've done it. I hate it. <laughs> Be I hate your it. own boss. Where are you working right now? Cause you working, you working that shit right nine to five basically. Shit, I work fucking twenty four seven. Always, huh? Yeah, and then you're coaching too, aren't you? Yeah. Then I coach. Yeah. And then now the DJ stuff. So, I'm always just busy. I'm always trying to do shit. And then you're a dad too. And I'm a dad. So it all. I don't know. I just take it day by day. Yeah. And just have fun. I feel like DJ is a good like thing for me to like chill out on and Is that kinda I, like your like your like like you said chill out, is that kinda like your meditation a little bit? Does that's that like shoot? my like stress reliever I guess. Like I could just listen to music and vibe and drink and I don't know, just have fun. Yeah. Like I, I don't know, I think like his party like it was what, like a Thursday? Yeah, it's like, like Thursday. I don't know, it's a good time to just go out and chill and just see people like have fun. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. Mean, there's nothing. I don't know. There's nothing better than that. Cause honestly, without the people, like, 
I don't even think my Instagram page would have took off like that. And it still has to get better, but there's just been a lot of people, like, showing love and support. So it's been, like, it's been cool. As soon as, I feel like as soon as that, well, things are starting to open up, but as soon as they really open up and you start to get some more shows in, bro, like, that's just going to take off so quick. That's the plan. But we just need everybody to just, like, just keep, like, showing love and support. I mean, not just with me, but even his shit and your shit. Like, yeah. That's just where we got to get it. And I think the more attention we can get to it, like, the more we can branch out and, and do more. So that's my goal, is to just keep going, build out those followers, and as soon as, like, we're ready... Like, we already have people that are going to fuck with us. So. Yeah, I just want the Valley to change, man. Yeah. I think the Valley's so stuck in this, like, old person golfing, like, <laughs> like, just, like, it's just, like, like there's so many young people here. There's so many young people doing shit here. Like, there's a lot of people that are young that live here, bro. Like, how many high schools we got out here? Like, there's some young ass motherfuckers out here, like. Damn, there's a lot. Yeah, bro, like, there's kids here. There's yeah. fucking people that are in college here. Like, people want to fucking do shit, you know? Like, and, and if we can build up each other's instagrams and social medias and all that shit it just, it just kind of gives a little more i don't know like just attention to the valley there's a lot more shit going on here than people think yeah I mean, it's not like, just a desert kind of like like a leadership like people like seeing like all right these guys are doing it we could do something else too like i, I said in like the the messed up podcast one i'm like <laughs> bringing it back into this though yeah. is that like you know be the first leaders of it and then more people are gonna follow and that's like what I want in general like I like want people to start doing their own thing and you know showing more love to everyone and support like because without that like no one else can succeed like you yeah know, you can't be you can't be like stingy about this type of stuff then like, like I said I'm a man of multiple hustles I have like all these people on Instagram showing love I'm showing love back to every single one of them they're like hey like can you just shout out my business yeah it don't cost me a dime to do that for you like you've been showing love on mine and like like I said, if I open up a club, all these people are going to try to come in and show love, too, for that. Or if, like, my other ideas that I have for, like, charities and other businesses, like, they're gonna, everyone's going to show love regardless. So, yeah. it's just like, you know, I'm going to just be the first one to just start pushing that back out, too, and not just be stingy with it because I'm succeeding. I wouldn't succeed without no one else. You got to you gotta show the love, bro. And then it's, you almost feel better when you are like that, you know? Yeah. Like, like, it's cool when you're making all the money. Like, yeah, it's cool, but... It feels a lot better when you're making the money and then you get to give a little bit to the homie and you get to give yeah. a little bit to this homie and, like, everybody else is kind of, like, getting a little bit better, not just you, you know? Yeah, like, and then they start seeing a vision for themselves and they're just like, all right, he's doing it, oh, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. He's teaching me some stuff for my, my own my own business or my own thing I want to do, whatever it is. Yeah. So, I've, I mean, I've told a couple people about starting a podcast, dude. I've gotten, like, at least two or three people to start podcasts. Like, they talked to me. I literally walked them through the process, like... You know, sign on to this, do this, do this, sign up for this, well, and just, it, like you said, it doesn't cost me shit, dude. It doesn't, I don't give a fuck. I'll help you out, bro. I want everybody to fucking do something. Yeah, and then later on, they'd be like, oh, like, you know, if you haven't checked out this podcast, if they happen to have gotten bigger, faster, boom, then, like, you know, your time's gonna come, too. Yeah, exactly. Like, and I, if we did say this in the old podcast, but I'm gonna say it again, like, like, you don't do good shit to, like, get it back, but... Is if you keep giving out those good vibes, bro, like you're bound to get good shit back, you know. Yeah. Like if you're not a dick, if you yeah. like help people out all the time, like, come on, bro, like people are gonna like you, people are gonna take care of you. Yeah, it's just the way it goes. It's it's just this is good karma. That's how I see yeah. it. Yeah, like you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's good karma. How do you believe in karma, bro? I believe in karma. Yeah. Yeah. You believe in God, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This man got more religious know, tattoos look, 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 and, uh, and crosses than anybody I know. <laughs> two, three crosses, two crosses two, on Three two. crosses, probably got like four tatted on him. Yeah, I got a lot of that shit so. on there. No, it's been, it's been fun though. I mean, I just can't wait for all this shit to open up. Yeah. And go back out there and start having some fun. Yeah, we're getting there. I can't wait. It's starting to open up. I don't know when we're taking the next step, but at least like, it's kind of opening, I guess. Kind of, yeah. Is that... It's, well, Beer Hunter, how they don't op- they're not open late though, huh? They're all closing early. I know Beer yeah. Hunter's open, but it closes at like ten or some shit. Yeah, not really. See, right now, everyone just has to serve food. So once, like, obviously a certain time, and you know, now no one's gonna be eating at like twelve or one. I mean, oh, they're just, making like, you have to eat a meal, huh? Yeah, like you gotta like dine in. I mean, I don't know if you have to buy a beer, but when I was out in San Diego, that's how it was. Like when Gas Lamp was open, like they closed at ten. 
they didn't have like bars open nothing like and if it was a bar they had to serve food and you had to buy something to and eat. get and to get a drink yeah wow yeah, yeah. i went to palm springs like a week ago and that's how it was i was like all right i guess i'm not drinking like <laughs> fuck you guys bro i'm not yeah. i'm not buying any food bro i can't pay like 15 bucks for like a meal and then another 10 for a drink for bro a drink. Like, yeah and tip yeah and tip yeah yeah, so that's why I don't know. We're just waiting for everything to open. Basically, and just waiting shit, game. Yeah, once that happens, the door is getting kicked open and just kick that shit and run with it, dog. Oh, for sure. Like I said, we already have a couple things lined up, so I'm just, I'm just waiting. I'm yeah, sure I'm counting down the time. I can't wait to watch go. you at Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen. It'll Hopefully, happen. try to get at Coachella just those little after parties and just. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'd rather spend zero dollars and go watch you than spend four hundred at Coachella, bro. I'll support the homie. I don't really do that shit. Coachella ain't even all that. Yeah, it's whatever. I didn't really care for Coachella. I mean, okay. a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's the goal. It's to just like once shit opens up, it's just to have all the homies like come together and just turn up and have fun and fucking have a good time. I mean, that's yeah. what it's all about. I mean, you don't want to go out to fucking fight or watch your back all day or you know get put in the wrong situations you want to go have fun and drink and you know get home safe at the end of the day so damn i really think he should open i think you really should open a spot bro because <laughs> we don't know we don't know any homies that own a bar you or know? the dj or a club or whatever or dj i'm just saying like like they're all older people you know or like people that we don't even know who they are so why would you even go to somebody else's club if you know your homie has a club right next door you mm-hmm. know like bro what how many I don't young mean to people? ask for an intermission, but I gotta take a leak. Go take a piss. <laughs> Alright, yeah, right there. Sh- High key. Sh- straight through. Doors on the right. Got it, got it. Not the double door, but the door is next to that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Has that ever happened on your podcast? Yeah. Someone had to take a leak? You have to edit it? You just keep going? Keep talking, bro. You're stuck. I gotta no, I'm good. I'm, I'm just still asking. good. DJ Boogs, bro. <laughs> How's life besides that? It's good. Yeah. It's good. Are you watching baseball? The Dodgers in the Dodgers playoffs? Dodgers in the playoffs. They? they play Wednesday. Mm. The who are they playing against? The Brewers. I don't even know who's in the playoffs in baseball. I don't even. There's watch like baseball. 16 teams, so I don't even fucking keep track anymore. 16 in the playoffs? Yeah, 16. They did like double wild cards, huh? I yeah, they did like double it's wild eight cards. And eight both sides, yeah. Jesus it's usually Christ. like I think six or some shit like do that. Do you watch baseball? I do. Really? Yeah, just the Dodgers. I don't really care about anybody else, to be honest. Do you watch? So you watch regular season as well? Yeah. Jesus, mm. bro. How do you do that? I played baseball. I don't know how you watch it, bro. I, <laughs> I just hate it. chill out and fucking watch the game. I mean, yeah. the Dodgers are so stacked this year, but they've been stacked the last couple of years to where it's just fun. Like They just win a lot, they so just it's win. nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, like we've just been chilling and just working on this DJ shit and just getting ready for it. Stuff to open. Like I said, once that opens up, it'll be so many opportunities. It's, it's about to be crazy. And... I just can't wait. Yeah. Like, I think the car wash and his party just, like, set the bar fucking high at this point, it, so. It did, bro, because there's nothing going on, and you already had two shows, you know? And that's, like, kind of crazy to me, like, and nobody, you came out of nowhere. You were like, <laughs> I like the name, yeah, come show, <laughs> you sound, you, can you book, yeah, bro, come on through. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no, it's been, it's been dope. I don't think a lot of people knew I was DJing because I don't think I told anybody. Like, I don't even promote no. it on my own page. Like, my it's real Instagram. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. even put it on there. I don't think I heard shit about you doing it. Doing yeah, I didn't post it on there. Like, I literally just posted it on our social media. We did a raffle and then fucking this shit took off. Yeah. And I, now people, like, add all the time, so... Oh, you know what? I think you put. Po- I think you posted it one time on your story. I think I when I started you. Yeah, right it. Yeah, right when you started it. Yeah, right when you started it. And I followed you, and then that shit took off, which is pretty good. It's probably it's already what almost two hundred followers in a mm-hmm. month. Almost two hundred, yeah. Yeah. So we're just trying to keep the momentum going. What you keep going? Would you ever like uh, like those DJs that are around right now? Would you ever like make your own like mix, like your own like drop your own CD or like your own I album I don't know, or we some talked shit? about it last time. I'm kind of. I mean, I would, but I think I don't think I would because. I don't know. I'm not really into that stuff. I mean, I I think I have to, but I just haven't thought about that yet. Like, I've been trying to, like, do it slow, like, put 
four or five songs together and then kind of just build off of that. Mm, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I still gotta like play with it a little bit more. You're not even into that part of it yet. Yeah, cause... like I'm not. I don't want to do like a fucking twenty minute, fifteen like a playlist minute, yeah, playlist. Or something. Like, I, I just right now I don't think. Maybe like in a month or two, but not right now. Yeah, just like, get a couple like shows and shit under your belt. Yeah. And get well, it going. we gotta we just gotta build the page first, and then once we get those followers, then we can start doing mixes like that. Because I don't think me dropping a mix like that is gonna like, is gonna like make that shit speed up. Like I feel like it's just you gotta just keep building it and building it, and then you know get that those followers, and then just take off. From yeah, yeah, I, so, I guess you. Yeah. I don't know. That's just the way I do. People do it differently. No, I understand but, what you're saying. You just don't wanna, like waste the mix. Or, yeah, like, waste exactly. it on nothing. Yeah, getting nothing out of it. Yeah. Because you have to start somewhere. I mean, he didn't start off shoes with fucking. How many followers do you have? I have. Like four hundred, I had like yeah. four hundred, like, and then like you within that, it. like, cause I was off and on with it, so like I got to like a thousand at one point, and I was like, oh dang, like I hit a thousand, but then when I got back onto it and I started hitting it hard, I went from like a thousand something to I'm at like three thousand one hundred right now, so and like and I've only been consistently doing it since like the beginning of like COVID, so like a month after like the the mm. pandemic first happened. So then Jesus. that's when I, like, skyrocketed into mine. What, what, is there any tips you can give anybody? Like, to, like, build their yeah, Instagram Yeah, to build followers? their IG? Um, like, what would you do differently from that 1K to that 3K? From me, it was just, like, being consistent with it, like, being on the gram, and also whatever <laughs> hustle you're promoting, or even if you're a blogger or whatever it is, like, just be consistent in the field you're in. And then later on, um, just having, like, bigger pages shout you out, uh, as well as, um, I mean, now you can do it, but back then, you couldn't pay for like the promotions. Pr- pay for the promotions. You gotta spend money to make money. Yeah, so more yeah, people yeah. are gonna look into your stuff. Um, it was mainly, yeah, like doing business with bigger pages, and like I cut down on like some profit margins on some shoes because I was like, you know what, he's gonna put my name out there more. It's all about the advertisement. So then more people are gonna, uh, you know link up with you or follow get your you Instagram. More business. Yeah, and get yeah. you more business. So, I mean, uh, like I was saying in our last video too, you just tax later on once you start getting more up there. Like all that money that you spent into your business, you're going to get it back in the long run. Yeah, so, exactly. Like that. Yeah, I remember you were saying, you're like saying like the first, <laughs> the first time customer, you know, give them like a real good hookup yes, and then, yeah, you know, so, slowly let that shit wean off because yeah. you're like, bro, like I've hooked you up 10 times now you gotta yeah. just pay full price yeah for one at some thing, point yeah, yeah yeah so i mean just just treat your yeah yeah i mean we're all running a business so i'm gonna say it like that treat your business good treat your clientele better and um just be consistent honestly because people will forget about you if you're off and on with whatever you do. yeah so that's and, the biggest thing i've heard from multiple people is be consistent even like yeah. the podcast it's like drop an episode all the time you know like even when you at least weekly like, try to drop think, one you know like someone's not watching you there's someone out there watching you and, and then more they tell more people about it so yeah That's, are you are you pushing your business on any other social media besides um, IG? mainly just instagram i mean i promote it small through like twitter facebook but not really it's just instagram because it's it's already rolling so why why go anywhere else and everybody's switching to it so and yeah. i've never had any issues with it so yeah it's a pretty big following for because you obviously got three thousand of real people you know yeah. everybody be buying buying followers yeah you got like and then that's what that's what people used to do back then to speed up their process too was you just buy followers or buy accounts off of people that were selling them but i mean i feel like you gotta go the authentic route you can't you yeah. can't have five followers like that. I mean, you could fake it, but then people are going to know. As soon as they look at your likes, yes. and you have 10 likes, or and you have 50,000 followers, bro. Like, get the fuck out sense. of here. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean... Or people don't even use your business anyway. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I got 100,000 followers, but nobody buys my shit. Yeah. Because it's not even real. Yeah, it's not even real people. So, it's just like, you want the real people, because then they're going to send... <laughs> you're going to get that clientele, actual real money... You know, and you didn't d- just waste a hundred dollars on a fake page. Yeah. So. Yeah. Is there? Do you think TikTok is there any way to make business for you on TikTok? Oh yeah, yeah. TikTok yeah. is the the next big thing. I mean, like, there's people building like a, a a house where they have other TikTokers in it, and they're making money off of just getting free product and stuff like that. Like, that's the next wave. And if it doesn't get shut down or like you know, people somehow something happens to it. But I mean, as of right now, like. 
it's, I think it's better than Instagram. Yeah. High key. It's yeah, it's getting Instagram. just more more views, more, more views. eyes on it. People are way way more addicted to it. I mean, even I could even say myself. I, the first time I used TikTok, I was on it four hours straight. Like that's how serious. Really? It was. Yeah. So I feel like <laughs> that's a better platform. I mean, I would try like small things for your uh, podcast on TikTok. To be honest. Like just little clips from it or what? Yeah, little or clips like... of it or just like um like funny segments real quick or however whatever you can just think of. Something to yeah, just see it on to there. promote yeah. on there. I mean people will if all it takes is like one video for someone to like and just bam, it just takes off with likes. Like I posted a, my first video with rings, I got like eight, nine likes and then I got like six hundred views on my TikTok. And Jesus. It, yeah, so and I was within like uh 24 hours. Yeah, 24 hours. Yeah. yeah so and I've heard, I heard TikTok, that's kind of the way their, like, algorithm is. Like, they try to, like, get your shit to, like, pop to see how, yeah. well, how many people Instagram view it. Yeah, well, now Instagram changed their algorithm. You gotta pay for promotions. To get your shit out to there, To get huh? your shit out there more. Yeah. yeah. Does it even help, like, on Instagram, does it even help, like, commenting on people's pages, them commenting on your yeah, page? Yeah, so if people are, like, commenting on your page or commenting on your stories, like, that's how more people see your stuff, too. So, I mean... That's why you show love to people and they show love back to you. So yeah. It's a, it's, yeah, you gotta do stuff. Like I finally that. started doing some, some guerrilla tactics, bro. I started searching hashtags and just, oh, whoever yeah, posted recent, I started writing on them, their shit, commenting like, oh, fucking good workout, blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> yeah. bro. Get some, stuff hey, like get some followers like on that, that shit. Too. Yeah. Like, um, just, yeah, anything. Like, I look up hashtags too. I, I mean, sometimes I forget to use them, but like, if it's like a personal post, but other than that, like if it's a business post, I'll use hashtags. Hashtags are the way. Do you put them in the actual description or in the comments? Uh, in the actual description, but I like space out like my paragraph. Oh so I'll yeah. I'll have yeah. them like right below of like my caption, and then I'll have my hashtag. So. Guys, you says not sitting there. Yeah. Fucking so, up your description. Yeah, I would. I would just say, I mean, don't be afraid to spend money into your business. Pay for the promotions. Uh, if you have a good like group of friends, make sure they're liking and commenting, and that's it. Or reposting on their story, like I said, it don't cost money. Like yeah, so it's an that's easy what I do click. Whenever, whenever he posts something, or like he's going to an event, or I'm tagging him. Like this weekend, I tagged him. I tagged the water slide company that hooked me up. Um, I tagged all my friends, and like people were telling me, like, oh, I got like 15, 25, 30 followers off you, blah blah blah. Like you know, and then they're showing love. By posting me on their page where people aren't even like I don't follow they don't follow me and they're like yeah. oh like what does he do or well, who is he you know so and they start checking your they shit, start huh? checking my stuff and then that's a follow so. yeah that's just crazy man it's just all those reposts all those like just likes and shares and comments so they actually add up man yeah they do they do yeah what's up dog. You're looking a little tired, bro. I'm chilling. You gotta go. You gotta go put the kids to bed, or what? No, I'm chilling. My kids should be asleep by now. Yeah. It's eleven thirty. I'm chilling. I always get this way. This is usually the time where I'm like fucking around. Oh, we have the hour. Or like forty minutes. Oh, dude, I'm good at guessing. I said forty minutes is forty-seven minutes. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. We minutes. got twelve minutes. Let's make it to the hour. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ask a question. You you are now the. The interviewer. Uh, you ask the questions to either of us. Man, I'm not good at that. You be the question man. You know what? Let's give this a try. Let's see how. <laughs> let's let's, see, give this let's a see how my my hundred k podcast guy works right let's here. Let's go. Let's go. Could you start your own podcast? Let's see. Could oh, you talk about? That's hard. Yeah, it's kind of hard, but. Could you talk about jewelry or something all day? Could you like sit there and like talk? Like, could you like? Have you ever thought about bringing, like, having your own podcast and bringing up some of your new pieces of jewelry, talking about them a little bit, talking about what you do? Kind of, but I feel like it's like you hit a certain amount of details and that's it. Like, I mean. You don't need to be long with that shit. I feel like your your shit is more perfect for TikTok. Yeah, yeah, because it's short, yeah. And you can just show it off a little bit. I just go like this, do a video, and then that's it. And people are like, oh, wow. Like, let me me buy him a few thousand. (laughs) So. But, but yeah, podcasts like yeah, you really gotta like pay attention to that, what that person does, create the questions. I give you all all the credit. Like <laughs> I, I, I got to. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm expanding my podcast. Where I'm gonna start doing like a little vlog, and I'm gonna go to the first small businesses are gonna be like bakeries and restaurants in the valley. And I have a couple lined up. I'm just gonna go and just kind of like watch behind the scenes of them 
you know, cooking or whatever, bro. Nice. Do some, like, diner drive-in and dives type shit, some Food Network type shit. Shit, well, once we start opening up and, and then DJing and shit. And then after that. Random careers, too? Yeah, then what? Like, random, like, careers. Yeah, like, I kind of want to, like, okay, like, from there, like, maybe, uh, I don't know, like, a club, like, the top clubs in the valley or something, and, like, check behind the scenes, like, how it is, like, because I got to get my shit a little more active. It's got to be, like, the podcast, people listen to that shit, but I got to... I want people to, you know, I think people want to see me doing shit, actually, too, you know? Like, oh, well, that would be perfect, like, like, once shit on opens go, up, you know? and we have, like, a couple shows and shit, like, that would be tight. Yeah. For you to be there, like, I mean, throughout the whole thing. Like, okay, a behind like, the scenes yeah, of that exactly. career, that would be tight. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna, I got some things in the works right now, so, yeah, bro. Well, you exactly. guys your first? Shit. What was your question? What, was your what made you want to start it? <laughs> um, there we go. I was having fucking issues with my wife, dude, so I listened to the Joe Rogan podcast. Okay. Every single day. It was basically like my piece, <laughs> bro. And uh, I don't know why it's funny, it's fucking asshole. But <laughs> damn, dude. No, I remember. I you. mean, it's a legit reason. No, though. I know, because I remember reason. you telling me about it, and we used to talk about um, Joe Rogan all the time. And how, like, blunt he was about his shit. Yeah, bro, and, and he just, yeah. I, I just went from, like, listening to a podcast, like, damn, I should just start my own podcast. And it was kind of cool, like, talking to homies that I didn't talk to for a long time. Like, I didn't, Is there's a lot of people. With them? Yeah, bro, there's a lot of people I didn't talk to for years, bro. I was, like, I went missing. I had okay. kids, I was fucking with my lady. Like, even in high school, I was, like, even not even chilling with the homies, bro. I was, like, you know, pussy whipped and shit, bro. And happens. it is what it is. It yeah, I just, I decided to, like take a chance and now it's starting to expand a little bit I feel like now people fuck with it well you're what on 61 now yeah it's episode 61 yeah. that's good yeah and and then like you told me about Palm Royale I reached out they hooked they, they I'm an influencer or whatever now with them, oh so. nice hell yeah dog yeah my podcast shout out so fucking it's only this full though he told me about it I didn't even know nothing about it he told me like you said you spread the love dog you fucking hook everybody up so it's all good yeah so we'll see what's, I haven't got my welcome package podcast. yet podcast <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll hook you up trust. yeah I'm waiting on that so, shit bro. I already posted about them though so. nice There's nice so podcast and then you told everyone the next level you want to do with it yeah anything else you would want to do outside of podcast uh I do uh, well I do drone photography I enjoy that but that's not like you that's just make business, it a business. Business. It is a business. A business I have okay. yeah. I have my drone photography business, and I just I don't know. I don't push it right now. I should be pushing it. I make good money on it, but I just I uh, it's not consistent, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I need to get a good client. I had a good clientele, and then I moved to Arizona for a little bit, and I came back, and you know they all used other people. It's like kind of hard to wait for yeah. somebody once they leave. That's true. Yeah. That's like me. Like if I stop doing shoes or whatever, someone's gonna find another shoe plug. You know, How many are jewelry. there? Yeah. There's, there's a lot, actually. Like, yeah. right now, like, because a lot of people, like I said, like, through this whole pandemic thing, it made a lot of businesses. There's a lot of people that created their own business because they didn't have jobs, and then people were, you know, having all this money, too, so they created their own business with that. Yeah. And that's a lot of respect. I've seen a lot more small business, coffee shops, uh, uh, bakers, uh, sneaker resellers, um like anything all car washes yeah. like car wash people they'll go to your house and stuff like all kinds of businesses so salute to that and i made a lot of real hustlers yeah and well if you did bro if you didn't start a business or something during this shit bro what are you doing yeah you know like if you're just living off unemployment you do nothing else but living off unemployment like damn dog that's kind of like disappointing yeah. you know like you, you had all this time and then a lot of people that are living off unemployment still work so you work you live off unemployment and you didn't find another side hustle like this was a time to really like or learn step your shit up you know what i'm saying do something like didn't do like <laughs> do nothing. something yeah. You know? yeah bro yeah so. learn some sort of investments some stock stock market shit yeah anything I mean, bro you could, do, you could do anything it doesn't have to be nothing big it's something that i mean the little stuff eventually adds to something big yeah that's how i look at it like if i like i'm doing little small stuff to improve my life and you know later on it might benefit so it's like going to the gym every day bro like it's just like it's just routine you gotta just kind of always bend it. like I, I can't sit there it's like you gotta yeah. always be doing something always like upgrading yourself leveling up which i'm sure both of you guys know you know yeah. you got multiple hustles and this was working all day long like a savage Just literally coaching yeah. 
kid. Yeah, how fulfilling is that coaching, bro? It's fun. Yeah. I miss it right now. But I yeah. kind of like, well, DJ's kind of taking the place for it. That's like, true. Like, I'm just, I don't know, DJ's been, been fun. Been having a lot of fun with it. I More feel like you. I, I, I feel like how do you not have fun? Cause you're you're at like where everybody's having a great time, you know, and you're kind of making the great time. Yeah, it's like I feel like music either breaks a party or makes a party. Yeah. So that's why like like the car wash and the party like I got good vibes off of it. So it's kind of like extra motivation now to get to the to the like the next step. Like I'm not perfect, so I mean there's shit obviously you have to fix, but like it gives you like that confidence to. To go up, cause I mean I could have sucked balls at his party if he was. Was there anything like, you think he needed to fix from his party? Mm, I don't know. Probably just like little stuff, like maybe just like I would say like transitions and stuff like that. Like I feel like you always have to fix something. Like I don't feel like there's ever gonna be a time where I'm gonna DJ something and just be. You just gotta continue yeah. mastering like, it. Like you just gotta continue it. doing it. Yeah. You know, I don't think there's any DJs or anything that are like fucking perfect. And if it is, it's because they have the same playlist that they do. Like, I mean, you think about Coachella, like, they do the same shit the first weekend, the second weekend. Oh, so man, it's over like, and over again. Yeah, it's shit that they do on tour. It's the shit that they do on concerts, like, out of state, whatever. It's the same fucking playlist. Like, there's nothing different. Yeah. So I feel like you just do it so many times that it's just, it's just easy. I was that. thinking, too, bro, at the party, that shit was non-stop bro like it was rolling i don't even i don't even know how you're that good like i don't even understand it like bro, and it was so funny like to me i think the best thing about the night is no one came up to me and said can you play this song everybody enjoyed it everyone always does it because i know there's always those people that are like hey man can you play this song or hey can you do that like that's usually one because they're bored or two they don't like the music that you're playing like but he had all the marks. And yeah, no one, so no one, said, no one said anything. So that was it. yeah. Everything was like everything was cool. Damn, that's legit, bro. That's a good first party. It was. Yeah. I mean, I wish it would have been a Friday, but it was still pretty popping. Yeah. Yeah, you did have a water slide and shit. Yeah. Hey, yeah, did yeah, you work the next day? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's I had a you fucking wanted. nasty headache. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I was okay. drinking those Corona seltzers. Um, and then the shots yeah. and that shit was Corona seltzer. Bro, I woke up with a fucking headache. Like yeah, that that there was some you. guy just handing me beer. He's like, "Oh man, you want a beer? You want a beer? You want a beer?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" And then, like I said, by like eleven thirty before his birthday, I was already like, "Ooh, shit!" And I think like if I didn't leave, I probably would have got wet in the water slide or did something stupid. To be honest, because I was already at that point. Like yeah. I didn't even want to leave. To be honest, I was like, "Fuck!" Like we keep this shit going all night because I didn't leave till like. Like it's 12 pretty late. Yeah, like twelve thirty. Yeah, twelve forty five. Yeah. But I feel like we still could have kept it going. I mean, I don't know what time everyone left, so uh, it's still like, a little like two ish. <laughs> yeah, it's still yeah, a while after that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't go to bed till like three in the morning, yeah. so yeah. So I don't know. I just feel like there's just that difference. Like there's just like a DJ, and then there's like the speaker. Like I feel like there's just different. Like I feel like when you're in charge of the music on the speaker, you can't have fun because you're worried about like music and playing the right song. I feel like when there's a DJ, you can just kind of have fun and not really worry about music. Because you got someone that's focused yeah. on the music. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, have you ever yeah. played music, like, on a speaker? It's the worst, bro, because you don't hard. know who the fuck likes what. Yeah, And exactly. then you feel like nobody's liking your shit, so you're like, uh, okay, I'm going to change it. Yeah, a bunch yeah. of requests. Exactly. Are they like, oh, can phone. we get, what's his name on the aux? Or, hey, can you fuck Yeah, the exactly, like, bro. That's yeah. why I hate the speaker. You're almost know, not even like, playing the shit you like. You're just, like, trying to play what everybody else is going to like. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's, like, the difference between the speaker and the DJ. Like, it's just so much easier. Like, know someone's playing music and you can just have fun. Like, yeah. And, you know. and you're a DJ literally from this area. Yeah. So your like, DJ knows exactly the vibes here, you know? Like, you grew up here, you know the people here, you know what we're fucking with, you know what we're not fucking with. Like, yeah. yeah that, shit was, that shit was fun. That shit was, yeah. I can't wait to get out into the club scene and fucking... Are you gonna get like uh, your own unique mask or something? Uh, be, like marshmallow. Not or, like, mask, but we'll probably have some unique shit like we're your working own on. Si- okay. The, uh, we said uh, you said jerseys that you. Oh yeah, jerseys. jerseys. I'll probably wear jerseys when I DJ. Like. Okay. But I, I like think, that. That's yeah, cool. it'll probably be different with that. And then we brought we trying to get like the little. Um, Kind of smoke gun. gun. The smoke gun. Like the fucking... The Instead of like having just a little fog yeah. machine off to the side. Yeah, oh, the, the fog actual, machine. Yeah. Fog gun. And we're trying to do like glow sticks and shit. Like just different things to like... 
kind of like turn it up a little bit more. Up the ante yeah, a little bit. Like yeah. just people have fun and different vibes. I feel like you go out and people are standing around and like. Yeah, you were even talking, talking about a fucking game. beach ball and shit. I oh, was like, yeah. hell yeah, bro. Something you know like ball. just something to switch it up a little bit, just to like people to be loose and have fun. You know, that's yeah. that's the goal. So hopefully, once change we get it up. There, the yeah. clubs are so boring nowadays. You guys ever fuck? I don't even have fun going out. The last the time I went, way. it was all old people and shit. And I was like, damn. Yeah, I can't. That's, why, that's why I'm debating Garbage. about opening one. And if I can, and if it can happen right away, and it's the right setup, I already got a DJ on standby. We're good to go. Like, yeah, it'll be true. the next level thing. I mean, like I said, I got a lot of messages about my party and stuff like that, and about the DJ and stuff. So, if I do a club, uh, I mean, and like. We were talking about we got enough love and support, followers and stuff like that. Like we are gonna come through, and they're just gonna be like, "This is like a hip young club," and I mean, yeah, I would want older people to come too to check it out too. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's gonna be like the next big vibe if that happens. Yeah, and the other thing too, like your followers, bro, you got you got like triple, quadruple what a lot of restaurants and shit in the valley have, and they're successful. So yeah. it's like Why you can't not? be successful with yeah. way more people that actually. Vibe with and then shit. you're running off of like I don't know p- other people that like have like here in the valley like maybe even more than me like five maybe two maybe one thousand but the more they start seeing it and the more of those people are in it I mean I see it as a hit that's yeah. what I like see it as yeah I just don't see anything that's popping over here so and I see a lot of young people that are looking for something that's popping over here it's like yeah. hit or miss like even when you go to Palm Springs I feel like it's hit or miss like there's what. There's Copa's, Moxie, Village Pub, like, NYPD. Like, there's literally a bunch of places you can go to, but it's just... Or the hookah lounge. People go to the hookah lounge, and then there's drink. Mm-hmm. So it's like, there's all these different places. I just don't feel like people, like, for sure know where to go. Like, there's I feel like it's always spot. a toss-up. Yeah. yeah. It's like, all right, let's check out Village Pub today. If it's whack, we'll go to Moxie. And then he's... Then like, he said, like, when he would... If he were to DJ somewhere, people already know that there's going to be a good vibe there, and it's going to be, like... The, the best spot to be at so imagine that that the club it'd be the best club spot anybody would go to yeah and so people are gonna be like this is a spot to go every single weekend and then someone else is gonna try to make a club like that which is gonna be perfectly fine because then we're gonna create that LA lifestyle where it's like where do I go because they're all gonna be lit they're all fucking and going there's off. gonna be something for everyone to do yeah. every single weekend yeah, you gotta get that. Exactly how your party was, bro. That It felt exclusive, dog. It felt yeah. like... Mm-hmm. And I think that's what people everybody. want. It's like, yeah. you want to party with your friends. Like, you want to party where you know people. Yeah. Like, imagine going to a club where you, everyone knows the DJ, everyone knows everybody around, and it's not, like, random people, you know? Exactly. Like, you'll have yeah. more fun, and you won't have to, like, watch over your back the whole time or see, like, oh, why is this fool looking at me? Two, like, I wouldn't even want it to be, like, a crazy expensive club where you're paying, like, $400 for a basic bottle or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want it to be, like, mid-range, but, like, people still dress up like ballers or people, you know, cash out, whatever they want to do. But it's just going to be, like, all around the best experience. Yeah, just like the party. Just like the party. Just like the party. Best experience. Yeah. So... Bring in the water slide and the beach balls. Yeah, because, like, like I was telling him, like, I'm I really going to start looking into it. And then I already had some guy, like, talk to me that has the, the big income for it. So he's like, even if you, you don't the start. Investor kinda. Yeah, so even if you don't start right away, he's like, we'll, we'll do small, like, Coachella Fest exclusive parties or whatever you want to do. Or just to get your, your club promoting out mm, there more. That still works, kind of. That's yeah. still, like, something, you know? That's still, like... I, I mean, see people doing that shit just already. Just give, but... give me another water slide again. That's yeah, it. like, I'll make it work. <laughs> DJ, make it work. Like, Have you guys ever heard of, like, Darty Party? No. I heard about it. The yeah. one in Palm Springs? No, I think they do it in Palm Desert. Is it, it Palm, Palm Desert? Yeah, Palm Desert, but where they, like, throw parties in different places. I think I, I, think I follow... I think they follow me on the... Oh, I think it is called Darty Party Palm Springs, yeah. so PS or something, Darty yeah, Party yeah, yeah, PS. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, kind of the same idea as them. They they throw like, they throw them in the same spot now. I think every time, mm-hmm. but it was like they'd pick a different house and they'd throw like a party and they they try to make it like cool vibes, but it just was never like there was they it just nobody knew who they were, so it was never like the homies I were going, like you know. Yeah. Like, so it was always from what I was told, it was like DHS homies and shit. Like so, it was like. Nobody knew who they were, so nobody was ever coming through. Okay. Oh, and, yeah. But it was, like, something like... It's something like what you're talking about, where yeah. you basically, like, 
promoting, you know, yeah. promoting your shit, setting up a full party, setting up a party every couple weekends I mean, that, or every weekend. Mine was just like a last minute thing. I came up with that in two days. That was yes, it. that's legit, bro. Yeah, I yeah. was just like, all right, well, how would I want to spend my freaking epic birthday? And just boom, just toss it up. And then he was like, I'll, I'll DJ. And I didn't even have to ask him. He was just like, I'll DJ. I was like, yeah. all right, cool. I was like, I got a water slide here now. I was like, so what's up? And he just how the water me. slide? What made you think of that shit or what? Um, as a kid, you know, I never, I never had certain things for my <laughs> birthday. So That's it was tight, like the bro. inner kid came out of me, and I was just like. Let's get a water slide. That was it's something you always wanted, or yeah. what? Yeah, like I was like, because most kids, you know, got bounce house or a water slide, and I was just like, let's get one. So then I just bought one, and then my homie, dirty party. yeah, my yeah. my homie who has a business, he was like, yo, like you know, I got him. Let me know, and I was like, all right, boom, brought it over. It was it was cool. A lot of people even said it. They're like, I would have never thought about the water slide. That was probably the coolest part, bro. Yeah, I didn't even get in. That was the coolest part for me, just looking at everybody get in and just get crazy, you know? I had a good time. A lot of people brought out their inner kids, so yeah. it was cool. Saw some people get tackled into it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shit was pretty wild. I that That's what you should do, bro. Every time you throw a party, just make that shit like we're kids again. Get yeah. a bouncy house, get a water, <laughs> water uh, slide, bro. I, I've thought about a bunch of stuff. Get now, some water balloons, get people get laid out with some water <laughs> balloons. So, I mean, it, it's, it'll be cool if I can open up a club, though. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds fucking tight. I'm with it. I'll support. I'll be there. Thank I'll you. I'll support appreciate it. Too. Yeah. You already know. <laughs> you're it. obviously you're, you're gonna be there. You're gonna be the DJs here. Deadly combo. Yeah, that shit's about to be fun. Oh, so what have you heard about that darty party thing, though? Is uh, it just, like, random DJs and stuff? Yeah, like, I, I don't really, I haven't heard much, but I just know, like, they throw parties every weekend or every couple weeks, and then they, like, like one, they had, like, a beer pong championship, and it was, like, a, maybe, like, a $20 buy-in or something. Winner got, like, 300 bucks or something. So, that's like, cool. that's legit, you know? Yeah. yeah, I was telling Dejan, like, bro, let's just go to win the beer pong championship and get the <laughs> fuck out of there, you know? Like, let's win. Yeah. Let's win with our money but, <coughs> but yeah like so they throw different parties and they like obviously they have like a theme like their last one I think was like a fiesta like they had like mariachi and shit oh, there and, like, that's pretty cool the one before that was I don't know they had one where they had like fucking flamingos and it was like straight like oh it was maybe it was like pool party style or something they had, oh, like okay. flamingos beach balls and, and they they like they have like little different spots set up. Like they had one one where they had it set up with like uh, like they had like rigs set up with like some wax. But uh, you know, like how long does that last? They had like fucking a gram of wax ring right there. Like brushes last in ten minutes. So, like, yeah. People are gonna take two hits of <laughs> and then they gotta bring their own wax to fit, to hit the rig. But yeah, nah, I like their style, dude. And it looks like it's moving up. And now, now I don't know if you guys have seen it too, but now like you know like promoting parties and shit. Now they're open like little. Almost like little clubs in like, uh, they open like a little club in one of those, just one of those commercial buildings, you know, like the commercial building. Oh yeah, like those little warehouse type things? Yeah, they yeah. open two actually. There's one right by Get Fit, you know where Get Fit is in Palm Desert? Yeah. Okay. There's one literally right next door to it now. Like, uh, or like, and it's like a straight, it's next to like a pest control and Get Fit, bro, and a paint store and it's like a it's like an indoor like club like a oh, wow. secret club and there's another one across cook street i think that's in like a warehouse or some shit yeah but what happens if you get caught i don't know i'm just saying like i don't know where i don't even know how they came up with these or where they came from or what because they're just yeah. like some they're basically like uh what are those speakeasies almost that's what it seems like to me you ever speakeasy have you heard of that no i've never heard of that have you ever watched uh what is it the great gatsby is that yeah. what they talk about it have you ever watched or read The Great Gatsby oh, in high school? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speakeasy is like when yeah, alcohol, like, like, like prohibition. Yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. That's kind of what this is. Like, where like. it's not like a legit one and stuff like that? Like Yes. Okay. It's basically illegal or like you know you got to like have like a code to get in. Or you yeah, gotta yeah, have, like, like, a, a, like a, you got to be like a secret member or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dang, okay. So I've seen them do some of that. And at Darty Party too, they did, they've done some live streams with some different DJs. Like you could... That's something you could do. They they do a live stream and it was free. It was just like hit them up, just hit them I up. I think you sent me that thing. I did. I said. I think I yeah. did send it to you. Yeah, but it was just go to their spot and just DJ right there, and it was just a live stream. 
That's not bad. I don't know. Yeah, but I'll look like, into it, but I don't know. I'm kind of just. Chilling. I think you're better with your own shit. Yeah, but I don't really need all that right yeah, now. Yeah, but they're trying, like, they're, they're doing shit. They're trying to expand their shit a That's little cool. bit. Yeah. Support it. Yeah, Jordy Porter. I think you could do that shit. Call it the, what was it called again? The Trap Barn? Trap Barn. If I took <laughs> over the Red Barn, that's what it'd be. The Trap yeah, Barn. That would be hard. That's in a good spot, too. It is a good spot. Yeah. It's way too expensive, or what? Nah, it's just a, a, a small flaw. They lost their liquor license, so. That's expensive, too. Expensive. Expensive. So, I mean, uh, like, if I were to do that, I might as well just buy my own building and do my own, like, put in for the liquor license and all that and, like, start from ground zero, but... If I could take over some spot that already has that, and then just do a few small renovations, boom. And then, I mean, like I said, you kind of spend money to make money, so yeah. I'll, I'll spend that money and then just, boom, bring just, it back within. Like, I want to say even, like, profit-wise, get that back within, like, six months. It could. It's possible. It's yeah. definitely possible. If, it, yeah. if it's popping, bro, like, people spend a shitload of money at the club. And dude. then, like, celebrities, too. Like, I have a few of them, like, artists or whatever, like, different, like, verified check people. So, like, when Coachella Fest comes around and they want, like, a popping club, I got DJ Boogs that's, like, freaking killing it. And, you know, like, you already follow me. You know what I do. Blah, 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 you've seen like my Instagram and how packed that club is. They're gonna want to come and they're gonna be like, all right, I need a table reserved and blah, blah. blah. And then when people find out that person's there, oh, there's gonna be a line out the door. Exactly. There'll probably be a line out the door anyways. Yeah, regardless yeah. too. Yeah. So they're just gonna be like, dang, like this guy has famous people coming in and stuff like that. Like, I don't really see too many clubs that ever have someone like that because now artists when they come for Coachella Fest, they get an Airbnb and then they throw their own parties. That's what they all do yeah. now. Yeah. Get a rental well, there's spot. There's no point so. for them to even go out anywhere. Yeah. Like, what are they going to have fun at Copa? Yeah. Nah, bro. Like, yeah. just their friends that they bring alone will probably pack out, like, something like that. Like, quick drink or something like that. It just like, doesn't even, it's not even big enough to even pack their Yeah. Like, their it'll shit. probably be their friends and then, like, maybe a couple, like, exclusive people, maybe. But that's, that's the thing is, like, yeah. they know out here, like, there's no point in trying to go to Copa or Moxie or anything. Even a lot of the people that run those places don't even know what it's like to deal with celebrities. You know, they'd be oh, all starstruck. Not. They'd be all like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, that's you one know? thing like, I learned too to, uh, talking to them is that you got to just be like straight cool with it. Just like, normal as fuck. Yeah, normal and just like, um, like even some of them are like, man, you're like strictly business. I respect that. Like you're not right here telling me like, oh, I listen to this song and blah, 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 or oh, like, I watched this game and you, like, performed and, like, you know, uh, you went off for, like, 30 points or whatever it is. Like, as long as you don't do none of that and you just talk to them straight business, they'll talk to you back. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, because they want to be normal, bro. Yeah. Like, fuck, like, they're yeah, not just money. Imagine how many messages they get of people being fanned out. Yeah. Oh, man, a thousand. And then you add girls too that are fanned out, like for, well for guy like celebrities and stuff like that. They're tired of hearing that. They like, just want to be like just dealing with regular shit, yeah. have a regular conversation. Yeah. Not, hey, bro, you're so fucking cool, bro. Like, <laughs> all right, bro. I don't know. Yeah, I did a I, show, dog. I did a TV show. That was it. Well, I do yeah. think if you met Nigel Houston, I do think. Oh you yeah, star that's show. my boy. I'll fan out. Nigel Houston, I'll fan out. <laughs> savage, bro, yeah. bro. He like, just won, like, X Game Award yesterday. Yeah, and then he had, like, a little razor in his crib. But, like, me, because I barely started getting into skating. So I like the way he skates. He skates, like, mm. fearless, aggressive, and, like... You ever watch his like, videos when he was a kid? Oh, when yeah. he had all his long hair. His, I've like, seen all his shit. YouTube videos and, like, the changes, the videos of his, like, introducing his new house and all that. Like, I've seen them all. Like, that's my, that's <laughs> oh. my boy. I even buy his shoes now, too. Really? So, yeah. You know he went to La Quinta for, like, a couple months? No. Yeah, his freshman his freshman year. Really? Yeah. He yeah. Used when to, did he graduate? Um, I want to say he's my age, so I think 11 or 12. But he used to always skate at the La Quinta skate park. Oh, the shit. little one but it was back like when he had his dreads and stuff so I don't think anybody like really paid attention to him like really? yeah he was there I think my I want to say it was my freshman year and I didn't have no fucking idea until someone told me they're like you know Nigel Houston used to skate here all the time I didn't know that either yeah me neither he was there for like a couple months That's yeah he brings like a competitive edge drip all that 
So I would fan out, but after that, I'd be like, all right, yeah. let's get down to business. Even his backstory is pretty crazy, dude. Like, his dad was, like, pretty psycho. You ever hear about that yeah, shit? I've read all that shit. Yeah, bro. His like, dad is, like, crazy. Is, like, isn't he Jamaican or some shit yeah. like that? Yeah. They're from somewhere. That's where he gets his, like, dreads from. Yeah, it was, like, like, straight, it was like, straight business, right? His dad was, like, mm-hmm. like But Nigel Houston's been business. waiting since he was, like, a baby, dude. Since he was, like, nine years old, that motherfucker was still getting goals. All the way till <laughs> now. Yeah, he's a and he's still man. winning. Yeah, still winning. That's crazy. Yeah, but skateboarding like said, is pretty amazing. He does it. He does it like an aggressive, competitive style. There's not people that really take it like that. And I was just like, uh, he just took it to the next notch. Because when I see him and I watch him skate right there with his headphones, and he's just like, all right, let's do it. Like he gets hyped, and then he just does it and does some crazy shit. And announcers like, yep, you could expect that from him. So like. Yeah, I get all credit to that boy. He he's legit with it. It's crazy they're doing those like one of one of a kind tricks. You feel like, and they're just landing them all the time. You're like, bro, how the fuck? Yeah, it doesn't even make sense. You know, like even snowboarding, like snowboarding, or even like skateboarding big air, like when they jump across the ramp and they're just, oh. bro, like you, how, like how do you land that? It doesn't even make sense. Like I wouldn't even think about doing that. I'd be I shitting bricks if I went off the ramp and I'm like, all right, am I gonna land or not? Like, yeah. you know? Like, that's too high for me. Heck no. And they come they come back, right? And then they hit the fucking quarter or the yeah, half pipe yeah. on the other side. And they're, they're just doing fucking... like 10, 8 spins and shit. Yeah, no, nah, that's not for me. Nope. Nah, yeah, that's that's some crazy shit, man. Those extreme sports are wild. Dirt bikes, all that shit. What about you? Have you guys ever dirt bike? I used to, but yeah. not anymore. Not like that. I just... Nah. That's just scary. No. Never. Don't fuck with none of that shit, huh? I mean, I would like to, but, I mean, I just see too many people eat it, break their leg. Nah, I'm straight. I know, right? Man. The quad lands on him or whatever. Like, oh, nah, people bro. People hit him or he crashed. You guys ever watch Johnny Knoxville when he... Nope. when he? I can't watch it. You know Johnny Knoxville yeah. off Jackass? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he fucking one time he hit... I forgot what he tried to do, but he hit a uh, jump with a dirt bike, and the dirt bike flew from, like, under him, and it came back and landed right on his dick, bro. <laughs> Full broke his dick. Yeah, you can't pay me enough to do that. This shit was fucked up. Was yeah, like, I don't nah. even take skating that serious. I don't even think until, and if, they, if someone shot me a contract, then I would I would take it serious. But until then, like you know, it's just a, it's just a little hobby. That's yeah, it. yeah. Like I, I don't I don't risk it out there even when it's a little hobby. Nah. You got any favorite skate shoes? Yeah, the so Niger be- Houston's. Oh yeah, you did yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're just rocking the Niger Houston's when you skate or what? Just rocking. You were such a savage, bro. Just rocking. You've been skating for how long? Like about like a month. And you already something. got special shoes yeah, for it. Special shoes, yeah. Damn, yeah. bro. Only a sneakerhead would do that. Special shoes from. Niger I was Houston. I was actually skating in my uh, Louis V's, my Louis Vuittons, but then I switched over to the Niger Houston's because okay. it made more sense and they just. Do they feel cool. better? Uh, not when I first wore them. They were uncomfortable. As a shoe, like, I mean, maybe his, his like, newest models are probably, like, really nice, but I got some with, like, leather and stuff like that, so they were uh, uncomfortable in the beginning, but it was just something that you gotta, like, use, like, probably, like, football cleats, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. You just gotta, like, wear them out, and then they're comfortable, so. Yeah, I got you. Does it really matter when you're skating, like, the type of shoes you wear? Is uh, it really important I when mean, it comes to the... I mean, some, yeah, but I really do think that it does play a part in it because, like I said, I skated in designer shoes, and, like, it was cool. I know some skater on Instagram that, like, skates in, like, off whites, like, all kinds of different shoes, and you could tell the way he, like, does his tricks and all that. They're not the cleanest, and they're not the best at, at times. So, yeah, the skate shoes It doesn't matter, matter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about you, bro? You wear some special DJ shoes? No. Do you tape your fingers a special way or something to DJ? Mm-mm. Special jewelry? Nah, I Hat. just throw on my jersey and we're. Oh, it's the jersey. It's yeah, you already time. said that too, bro. Yeah. So, All right. Jersey, some short shorts, and I'm ready because it gets hot. The jersey, some short shorts, yeah. and I'm it gets ready. super hot at those places. <laughs> Is it hard standing up that whole time? Not Do really, because you, you don't really feel it. Like you're just in the moment. So I probably feel it the next day, but not in not there. No. Well, I get a headache from like looking down and looking up, or like trying to see like certain things. So I get headaches, but nothing too bad. Not too bad, yeah. yeah. And then I know you said you can't really practice before, like you're you're going to a, like a party or whatever. But do you have like a list, like almost like a track list set up, like ready to go? Sort of, kind of. Like when you went to his party? Did no, you, I didn't have shit. You just fucking yeah, I literally winged, just winged, winged that it? shit. Yeah, like I. Look- 
Jesus, I, bro. Well, that's savage. Like, that's good. No, that's really no, good. No, it was, yeah, I don't know. I just, I winged it, but I kind of knew, like, his, I think, like, his, what, Mark, your cousin? Yeah, yeah. Like, I know, like, him and the girls that were there, I know that they, like, Spanish and shit, so I just try to, like, mm, yeah, yeah. both, you know what I'm saying? Like, just gauging the vibe. Yeah. I would say that. I, feel, I feel like that's what you have to do as a DJ. You got to see, like, all right, people are like this. All right, let's continue this. Yeah. And then, like, if you feel like you could switch it up and they'll like it, all right, cool. But I feel like after a certain point, once you see everybody having a good time and obviously enough alcohol in them, you could go ahead you can and do play whatever you want. want. <laughs> no one's yeah. going to pay attention as long as everyone's still moving to it. Yeah, once the vibe's right, right? Once yeah. the vibe's already hitting, it's just like, just keep it going. That's what I'm saying. Once they start drinking, I start drinking, like, you just hit that certain point, you just play whatever. I mean, I'm, that's just... I don't know, that's the vibe that I got. But I did know, like, I had to place, like, some Spanish in there for them. And, I mean, when I did, like, I think even you were dancing. I don't yeah, know if you remember, I don't, but... I don't, even, I don't even listen to Spanish music like that. Shit, so. I think I was dancing to Spanish music, <laughs> yeah. too. Man. This man was so. moving his, his fucking... I thought he was about to break his hip. He was <laughs> moving fast as shit. And, like, I think Beef was dancing, too. Yeah. So was. it was like, yeah. I just, I just remember him dancing, and I remember walking by, and he was knocked out on the bed. <laughs> He was asleep halfway through that second second party. He was out, bro. He oh, needs, yeah. He needed to recuperate, done. I think. Yeah. He's I done. just don't know. And then he, he was still with you San Diego. I was like, damn, yeah. bro. He just keeps it moving. I just don't know how you can have a playlist, like a set playlist. I don't know how people do it. I don't know either, bro. I'm not a DJ. I have no fucking idea just, how you even do it. I, I don't know. I don't even know how you stand up there and you're fucking with music like that, bro. I don't even know. How Drinking. I drink a lot. Yeah. I knew, like. And I'm, you just know all the songs that you're playing? Like, you just know them? Yeah, I mean, well, I think a lot of the songs, like, I play, like, at home or, like, I fuck around with, so, like, I'm comfortable with them, but I do think, like, there's some more shit that I need to, like, throw in there, you know, just yeah, to okay. expand it, uh, or expand it, like, just not stay stuck on a certain, certain, because there's a lot of songs that I play that I can't even listen to on the radio, like, because I just get annoyed. Yeah. Yeah, so I just, yeah, there's a lot of songs, or that I don't want to burn out, because I know that if I'm burnt out, I won't want to play it, because I'll be like, Fuck. Even though everybody else might yeah, listen to it. Yeah, even though everyone it. likes it, I can do it. So, is that a big part of being a DJ? You gotta listen to all the new music mm-hmm. and shit? You gotta, like, keep up with the trends and all that shit? Yeah, I try. I mean, right now, I think, like, this generation's a little bit easier, because you can play, like, Shoreline. A lot of people like Shoreline, or, like, Future, or, like, who's another, like, Pop Smoke. Like, Migos. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's in right now. So, I feel like if you stay in there, like, you're good. Like, yeah. YG. I remember like, when you played some Pop Smoke. I was I feeling that shit. Smoke, that shit was, um, like, was Tyga. Feeling. Like, just shit like that. Like, that's yeah, shit yeah. that people listen to all the time. Lil Baby. I didn't really get to play Lil Baby, but just shit like that. I mean, I feel like you just gotta keep it, like, just gotta switch it up. So, that was... It's just, yeah. You gotta just kinda know. That was fun, you know? yeah. Both did the shoulder thing, or yeah. Yeah. Cause I just think about that night, and I was, I think I was even dancing behind there. Nah, it was a good time, bro. For your first, like, you know, you had your the car wash, but that was like your first real like. That's like that was like show, the first show, party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, you got some people that actually like you kind of create the whole fucking vibe. Yeah, I didn't know that until you like until you do it. It's like people feed off of you. So if I suck, I'm pretty sure like people <laughs> wouldn't have drink or. Like, yeah. turned up like that. I feel like it would been like, Ugh. Yeah, cause I, I set all the tone, and then everyone was like, all right, it's a it's a lit time. Let's continue it. And, like, next thing you know, it's like 2 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. 12.30. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, all right, the DJ is gone, so now we got to figure it out. And that's when everyone was slowly dying out. If I had this guy there till the whole time, it had been, like, going on till 5 in the morning. And that's what happens to you. You're right, because as soon as you did leave, that's when it's like, all right. But nah, I feel like, like once I left, I feel like everyone was already, like, pretty much drunk. Like, I feel like everyone yeah. already hit that. Everybody like was, part. for sure. Everybody was yeah. for sure faded. There's but the, There's the boundary. Everybody could have, for sure, been faded and kept partying hard for a couple yeah, hours. You know? The yeah. DJ's still going. Yeah, because yeah. mm-hmm. cause everybody still was partying, like, you know couple two three hours after that yeah. still went inside played flip cup all that shit so it was like yeah like i said i didn't go to sleep till three so if the dj was there i wouldn't have gone to sleep till five or six yeah so damn it would have been fun if we would have kept it that long i remember the cop show though too they did yeah they didn't come inside so. though they didn't come inside yeah. they, they for just, the music or just like i don't remember people? they pulled up they pulled up and they're out front and they just like cruise by all slow and then they turned around and cruise by that was it yeah 
Then took off. I and like, you know, windows down and shit. Like, obviously, like, seeing what's going on. But Yeah, I was, I think I was already, like, inside and I was just <laughs> chilling, like, ready to go to bed, so. Yeah, it was, it was when you are already done, too, I think. I think yeah. you are already done, it was Probably. like. Probably. Well, that's what I'm saying, like, 12, 12.30 is always, like, the good point. Because I feel like nothing good happens after, like, 1 o'clock. I it's, like, like, a little just, too far at that yeah, point. Yeah, I feel yeah. like people just get intoxicated and it's just. I feel like the later you go, the more cops are out, like. Definitely. I don't feel like there's Ugh. enough cops at 12 than there is at, like, 1 or 2. Because I feel like they know people are, like... That's the worst, right? Yeah. When it's, like, 3 in the morning, you're like, I'm the only fucking car yeah. on the road, and bro. And fucking cops everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And something's yeah, bound bro. to happen. Nah, that's the worst. You're right about that. Yeah. So I always just, like, with that, I just always try to leave at a good time. Even when I go out, I try to leave, like, before 1. Because I feel like at 1, I feel like everything after that, people are just too faded. And they're just stupid shit. Happens. And then you got know, like last calls for like by two o'clock and shit. Yeah. So it's not even worth being there that extra hour. Mm-hmm. It's not like you're getting much out of it. Yeah. Anymore. And yeah. it's already dead by that time. Like by one one thirty, I feel like everyone's already like, all right, where are we going now? I don't, I feel like bars almost fuck people by giving them last call at two o'clock. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like it's like the worst time. It's like you're not even to where it's like morning yet. But you're like, like you're super, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't even see the sun yet. So like people are fucking tired and they're getting super faded. Like you see the sun, you know, you kind of wake up a little bit. Like, I don't know if you ever work graveyard, but you like, no, like you, you work graveyard and like once the sun's back out, like it almost like restarts like your, your clock, like your like inner clock, you're like, oh, I'm awake again. And when it's like, you're leaving at three in the morning or whatever, bro, like you're already tired and you're faded. Like, mm-hmm. good luck making it. And home. you're hungry. You and shouldn't even be drinking, right? No drinking yeah. and driving anyways. But yeah. come on, dog. That's like the worst possible time. You're bound to be fucked at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Bars are working with the cops and shit, dude. Yeah. Conspiracy well, you theory. leave like Beer Hunter or something, there's already like a bunch of cops like lined up ready to like catch somebody. They stay on that corner yeah. too, that Washington. Highway 111 corner? Highway 111, like, they're all down that street. Because I remember when I leave Beer Hunter, there's, like, two or three cops already, like, just chilling, waiting to see someone drunk and then fucking follow them. Or even, like, Neil's. Neil's always has a bunch of cops down Oh, really? Street. Yeah. Just on 111? On or 111, what? yeah. Yeah. They just fucking wait for people. So, yeah, that's just crazy. Yeah, that's why I don't, I don't know. I'm not a big drinker anyway, so it's not bad. It's whatever. Uh, Me neither. And then you probably got your drinking out for. Yeah, I'm done for like a couple of years. I saw your post on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, sorry need... guys, I'm back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was a long time. I was like, dang. But pro- previously to that, though, I wasn't really going out like a whole lot, like drinking crazy at least. Like, I don't really drink heavy when I go out. And I mean, my birthday is just my birthday. Why not? Yeah. I'm in the comfort of my own home and everything. So, pass out on my own bed. Ooh. Hey bro, if you're grinding this shit, if you're working hard, it makes partying better. You know, it makes it worth it. It makes it like where you can actually enjoy yourself. So yeah, like, like that saying, uh, "Work hard, play hard." Like I believe in that because you're right there, like putting in so much effort into your grind. Like you gotta stop and live a little bit because then you're gonna be miserable and be like, "All I do is work," and you're gonna be upset. Like yeah. that's why, like with my thing too, I don't take it. I don't take anything I do really that serious. Like. As much as people say I should, I don't because then I'm going to be stressing myself out and I'm going to hate it. Like, I'm just going to be like, it's a fucking job. Like, and I don't like feeling like that. Like, where I like feel like I got to be stressed out over some shit. So, like, with jewelry, I have fun with it. Like, I put music on with my videos, <laughs> shoes. Like, I show them off and take pictures of them and stuff like that. Like, me carrying, like, a bunch of them and people are like, oh, dang, like, you got a bunch of shoes. Like, you know, yeah, like, yeah. the same release. So like, and I told him the same thing with his DJ. Have fun with it. Don't, don't take it like where you gotta stress yourself out. Oh, these people might not like it. Like he said, I don't give a fuck if they don't like it. Like, cool. That's the mentality you want because yeah. if you let anybody's opinion stop you, you're nine times out of ten gonna stop because you're like, oh well, that's probably what everyone else thinks. Like, no, like, do you? Just be authentic. You yeah. Know? Just do your shit. You're gonna always have haters. You're gonna always have people yeah. lying about it. You know. Oh, for sure. It is. And, what and, haters, and haters make you pop in too. It's not a bad thing. So yeah. like. Exactly. It is. What it is but haters are still talking about your shit. Yeah. They're still spreading. And people, man, people are checking you out your stuff just because they're talking about it. Like, let me see if it's really that bad, or let me. See <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, you know, yeah. Like. So, I mean, but I've had a lot of like people like that turn into my number one clients because it just. 
you know, were either jealous that they didn't start it or whatever reason. But now I'm cool with them. I never had no grudge against no one because, like, you know, like, I don't got time to be hating or none of that. Like, it's just that, it's that consistency, bro. They went from, like, they think you're just, like, faking it, you know, and then yeah. they say, like, nah, this was really like, doing it. like, this guy it. really doing it. So, yeah. I mean, it's cool. So, yeah, exactly. Like I said, can't hold no grudges. And, I mean, I don't take it serious. Like, I just, I have fun with it. I mean, I make my own jewelry. Um, you know, people compliment me for it. And this what it is. That's all. You guys ready to wrap this shit up or what? All right. Okay. Drop your social media. It's DJ Bugs. Drop your shit, bro. DJ Bugs. That's it? That's it. <laughs> Let me check. Hey, I thought there's, an, there's not an underscore, bro. Is there? Mine's just Tony. Oh, M. yeah. DJ Reese. under. Oh, my God. Tony M. Reese, you can follow me on the gram. I mean, I put, promote all my, my businesses on there. Sneakers and jewelry, right? Sneakers and jewelry. It's maybe a club soon. Maybe a club soon. So, there's an underscore. DJ underscore. Can people reach out to you if they want you to DJ a party? Yeah, at but this point? I feel like... Not I'm, that you'd accept it, but uh, can, is it like, would they... Would well, like, like, I exclusive. Yeah, like, if I know you, I'll do it. But if you're just some random wanting me to do like a quinceanera or like... Some shit You're like not that, doing that, I shit. probably won't. Okay, yeah, 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 like, yeah. I already told my girlfriend I wouldn't. Like, I'm trying to keep it. Don't like, do a keen saying shit, bro. That's not even your vibe. <laughs> no, it? it's not. It's definitely not. Don't sit there playing that yeah, shit. Yeah, and like, I, I'm not about money. Like, I want to have fun. Like, yeah, I give yeah. a shit about two or three hundred dollars. Nah, because it's like two or three hundred is gonna turn into like three, four thousand. <laughs> For like an actual like good party, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. not a quince. That's you know? what I'm saying. Like, yeah, no, I won't do that. But yeah. if like someone hits me up that I know, like you or like Dejan or someone like that, I'm cool with. Like I'll do it. But if it's somebody that like I don't even know, I probably won't. Don't play that. I, I, won't I respect that. I like that. Stay in your lane. Yeah. Stay on your. Like shit. I'm not trying to do too much or whatever. Like there's already DJs who do shit, and I don't give a shit. Like I'm just trying to do my own stuff. Yeah. Have fun. Shout out DJ Boog, shout out Tony Ruiz. We made it. This is the second time. So Dude, that's yeah, this one made it longer. That shit was like half. an hour and a half. Hour and a half school. Look at that. And it recorded right. Let's fucking go.